Since the Raspberry Pi 4 came out last year, we now have an excellent candidate to base the mini server on. The faster processor and option for up to 8GB of RAM opens up more possibilities for what we can do with it, including now being more than capable as a general Linux desktop system. So with all that in mind, I'd like to introduce the Node mini server version 3. Like the previous versions, one of the main goals here is to package the Raspberry Pi in a form factor that makes it a little bit more useful as a regular mini server or computer. That means putting it all in a neat box with all the ports on one side. Compared to the previous version, I decided to simplify the concept further so everything is encased in a 92x92mm enclosure with a thickness not much larger than the Pi itself at 26mm or about 1 inch. The case comprises of a single 3D printed piece with a top cover made from a custom PCB. This has four brass threaded inserts soldered into the corners, giving us a simple way to secure everything together via some long screws. Stick some rubber feet on the bottom and you have a really simple, sleek computer that is fairly easy to recreate. It's small enough to power on and leave running in the background. Something I tried really hard on this time around is to add as much modularity as possible. Some of you will be happy to hear that this version requires no modifications to the actual Pi itself and this is achieved with a range of custom pluggable adapter boards I made. Firstly, in order to get the USB-C power port and one of the HDMI ports on the back of the case, you now simply have to plug in the adapters and add a 3D printed frame to hold everything together. It's worth noting that the HDMI adapter works fine, though I can't confirm it works up to 4K as I don't have a 4K display to test it on. I know digital video signals can be a bit finicky sometimes, so that's an area that needs more testing. Another add-on option is an mSATA SSD which connects to the USB 3 port, allowing for faster transfer speeds. What's cool here is that you can now optionally boot directly from the SSD if you want. These USB 3 to mSATA adapters are easy to find on eBay etc, but be aware that they're not all the same, you'll need the one with the smooth underside. And speaking of boot options, I've also designed a microSD extender board, giving you access to the microSD card underneath the computer without having to take everything apart. This also moves the card away from any potential heat problems on the board that can sometimes cause failures. Depending on what you're using the mini server for, you may require more or less heat management, especially if you're slamming the Pi and using the SSD which both generate a bit of heat. Again, here there are various options. On mine I have two fans running whenever the server is on. I've designed other frames for holding one fan or no fans too. It all depends on what you're doing. You could hook up a transistor and set the fans to only come on when the CPU core temperature reaches a certain level. Finally, the look of the device is also customizable. Since the case is 3D printed, you can choose whatever filament color you want, and there are a load of different solder mask color options for the top cover. Like the previous versions, all the files and a list of all the components are available on the Node website if you want to build your own. I'm going to probably sell some dev kits with all the parts unsoldered and unassembled, so if you've got the skills to put one together, print your own case and test everything out, that could be helpful. It might not be available for a few weeks, but keep an eye on the shop. This will be a small run aimed at the early adopters and tinkerers. I'm also fully open to other people selling kits or pre-made servers on their own sites. I think that would be a great way to build this up as an open standard that others can develop and iterate on. Like the other projects, I want to set up a dedicated website when I get the time as a central hub for how to make these and showcasing any add-ons or extras other people make. If you do start selling these, let me know and I can add the links to the site once it's up and running. Another thing I've been thinking about is how this kind of design could work well as a stackable multi-pi server system for a really tiny home lab. Since the bottom of the case is open, you could say stack three of these on top of each other, removing the covers from all but the top one, so the fans circulate the air from the bottom through all the pies and out the top. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting. Please consider sharing this if you think others will enjoy it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. This project first appeared in Node Volume 2, our new independent 180 page zine, packed with all sorts of open hardware and decentralized software projects. Pick up a hard copy or download for free from the Node site.